U.S. has been facing some challenges when it comes to defending against laser weapons deployed by other countries. But now, there's an aircraft that could hold the key to solving that very problem. Beyond that, this aircraft has been designed to use solar energy to power itself, and people are intrigued by this development. There's more to this revolutionary marvel than meets the eye, as it's also packed with mind-blowing speeds that leave other jets in the dust. Join us as we explore the impeccable design behind this laser aircraft that the U.S. has revealed to be powered by the sun. Aviation enthusiasts can't help but be captivated by a few aircraft, and the SR-71 Blackbird is undoubtedly one of them. With its sleek and stealthy design coupled with its enigmatic history, the Blackbird exudes an undeniable cool factor. It also holds the title of being the fastest crewed aircraft in human history that doesn't rely on rocket propulsion. The SR-71 boasts the remarkable capability of reaching speeds beyond Mach 3.2, roughly 2,200 miles per hour. For almost 50 years, it has stood as the epitome of aviation speed. Yet, Hermias, a company based in Atlanta, believes it's time to introduce some healthy competition. Their vision is about bringing hypersonic flight, speeds exceeding Mach 5, to the realm of commercial aviation. Back in 2021, the Air Force handed Hermias a hefty $60 million contract to develop three concept aircraft, one of which is the hypersonic wonder named Quarter Horse. Notably, Hermias achieved a significant breakthrough recently by successfully testing a turbojet ramjet hybrid engine named Chimera. Behind the astonishing speeds of the SR-71 stands the Pratt & Whitney J-58 turbojet engine, capable of maxing out at around Mach 3. However, Hermaeus's innovative design introduces a ramjet element, which operates effectively at high velocities by using incoming air to pressurize fuel in the combustion chamber. This propels the quarter horse aircraft beyond Mach 5. To outpace the Blackbird, any contender must master the art of seamless transitions between turbojet, ramjet, and back to turbojet mode, and Hermaeus has already conquered this complex aviation feat. Testing the Chimera engine required simulating the extreme pressures of Mach 4 flight. To achieve this, Hermaeus transported the engine to the Notre Dame Turbo Machinery Lab, a high-mac test facility. There, they showcased the Chimera's ability to smoothly shift between engines by redirecting supersonic air around the turbojet and into the ramjet. This hypersonic engine for the quarter horse is part of a broader effort to usher in the era of hypersonic flight with initiatives like the Air Force's Project Mayhem aiming to develop a hypersonic bomber soon. Looking back at history, Pratt and Whitney first tested the J-58 engine in October 1958, and merely six years later, the SR-71 was soaring across the heavens. The SR-71 Blackbird, with its sleek needle nose and swept double delta wing featuring prominent nacelles, is truly an aviation legend. While it took its inaugural flight back in late December of 1964 and has been retired for nearly a quarter century, it has remained unmatched in speed, marking the fastest plane in history. Its two Pratt & Whitney J-58 turbo ramjet made this possible as earlier mentioned. The jet could effortlessly exceed Mach 3, ascending to such heights that the crew required pressure suits to prevent blacking out. The brilliance of the J-58 lies in its fusion of turbojet and ramjet capabilities. Operating under Mach 2.0, the engine pulls air, slowing it down and compressing it through a turbine-driven multi-stage compressor. The compressed air is then mixed with fuel in the burners, with additional fuel introduced in the afterburner stage. But beyond Mach 2.2, the dynamics change. Six bypass tubes encircling the engine activate, channeling air from the fourth compressor stage directly into the afterburner. This ingenious design significantly enhances the engine's fuel efficiency. The Blackbird's incredible speed and low radar signature, achieved through its swept shape and radar-absorbing paint, made it an elusive target. This high-performance aircraft was designed to replace multiple missions performed by the slower U-2 reconnaissance plane, which had grown increasingly susceptible to Soviet interceptors and surface-to-air missiles. Notably, a U-2 aircraft was downed over the Soviet Union in 1960, with pilot Gary Powers taken captive. Two years later, another U-2 suffered the same fate over Cuba, making the creation of a faster jet a necessity. Operating the SR-71 also demanded exceptional skill. Both the pilot and navigator needed to be in peak condition, as the navigator lacked flight controls while the pilot lacked navigation instruments. 
Should the pilot lose consciousness, the navigator's hope rested on the plane being on autopilot, allowing them to program a destination using the Astro Tracker. Conversely, if the navigator was incapacitated, the pilot would rely on a standby whiskey compass. Back in the days before kerosene filled the inside of a magnetic compass, alcohol was used as the primary lubricant and non-freezing liquid, hence the nickname whiskey compass. Operating at Mach 3 generated temperatures capable of melting standard aluminum airframes, necessitating the SR-71's titanium covering. Nonetheless, handling this material on the assembly line posed its own set of challenges. After zooming at incredible speeds, it had to decelerate for mid-air refueling from a slower tanker. This cooling phase caused the plane's skin to contract, often resulting in leaks. Despite this, the SR-71 set numerous performance records. Its military track record was equally impressive. The Blackbird penetrated Soviet, Chinese, and other communist nations' airspace, observing troop positions during the 1973 Yom Kippur War, supporting the U.S. bombing of Libya in 1986, and participating in operations across countries such as South Africa and Nicaragua. Astonishingly, no SR-71 Blackbird was ever shot down. Over time, 32 SR-71 Blackbirds, along with 13 similar-looking A-12 ox carts, three YF-12 prototypes, and two drone-launching M-21S were constructed. However, by the 1980s, threats capable of countering the SR-71 had risen, including improved enemy air defenses and the introduction of the MiG-31 armed with the R-33 air-to-air missile, capable of intercepting the fighter. This made the U.S. military turn to spy satellites, which operated at altitudes beyond these threats, ultimately leading to the discontinuation of the SR-71 program in 1990. Now, Hermes has learned from the SR-71 challenges and is using advanced technology to tackle them. Despite the country's recent establishment, their primary focus was to create hypersonic military and civilian planes, and now they've designed this unmanned plane that is to achieve a maximum speed of 3,350 miles per hour, outpacing any known competitor. Additionally, the Quarter Horse's flight range is an impressive 3,700 miles on a single tank of fuel. This range equates to traversing from Oregon's edge to New Jersey in just one hour. Notably, the jet is equipped with a substantial internal laser cannon capable of continuous operation. Unlike conventional weapons, lasers can persistently function until their energy is depleted. Now, the laser system's power source is innovative. The aircraft's specialized skin captures solar energy, channeling it to the laser emitter, thereby generating a potent laser pulse. This intensity enables the laser to melt metal and rocks, presenting a new level of firepower. The laser's versatility extends to a continuous beam mode, providing efficient defense against aircraft, drones, and missiles. It appears that laser technology is growing, as Northrop Grumman, Boeing, and Lockheed Martin have also joined forces to develop a groundbreaking laser weapon, backed by a substantial investment of $26.3 million. This laser weapon is slated to be integrated into the future sixth-generation fighter jets. Back in 2018, the U.S. military reported over 20 instances of Chinese naval forces directing lasers at American ships and aircraft. Later in 2022, even Australia, a U.S. ally, reported that one of its jets was hit by a Chinese laser weapon. These incidents underscore the growing laser threat faced by the U.S. and its allies, and it's a significant concern. Laser weapons are a notable departure from conventional armaments. They utilize concentrated light energy to impact targets with remarkable precision from substantial distances. Operating at the speed of light, lasers eliminate the possibility of targets outrunning them, as can happen with missiles. Laser weapons boast a near-perfect kill success rate due to their accuracy. These weapons also offer the advantage of unlimited ammunition, as long as they remain powered. This autonomy allows them to engage and neutralize various threats, including drones, small boats, and missiles. USA's Next Generation Air Dominance, NGAD, fighter stands as a significant milestone in this laser weapon evolution. Lockheed Martin, one of the key defense contractors, has developed the Lance Laser, a critical component of the shield laser weapon. The Lance Laser was delivered to the US Air Force discreetly, marking a significant advancement in laser technology. 
This laser-equipped fighter introduces the potential to revolutionize aerial warfare by minimizing traditional dogfights and introducing long-range precision attacks. On the other side of the globe, China is also making strides in laser weaponry. Their sixth-generation fighter development is poised to incorporate advancements in laser technology, building upon their already capable fifth-generation J-20 Mighty Dragon Fighter. With China's investment in airborne laser technology and their reported incidents of laser engagements, this pursuit further intensifies the competition between the U.S. and China for supremacy in laser-equipped aerial combat. Turning to other laser-equipped aircraft, the F-22 Raptor, renowned for its advanced features, has been retrofitted with the Firestrike 2 laser system by Northrop Grumman as well. This system utilizes ultraviolet radiation, converted into infrared radiation, to heat surfaces to high temperatures. The F-22 Raptor is indeed another force to be reckoned with even beyond these additions. Its unmatched maneuverability stems from its unique wings, shape, and the Pratt & Whitney F-119 turbofan engines that offer thrust vectoring. This allows the aircraft to redirect its exhaust, enhancing its handling capabilities. Stealth technology is a standout feature of the F-22. Its diamond-shaped wings and special radar-absorbing materials scatter radar waves, making it difficult to track. The aircraft's armament is stored internally in stealthy compartments, further reducing its visibility. Its avionics are top-notch as well, with sensors, onboard radars, and electronic warfare systems. The Raptor can share information easily with other aircraft, enhancing situational awareness on the battlefield. However, despite its remarkable capabilities, the F-22 has faced challenges. Its development went over budget, leading to a reduction in the planned number of units. The emergence of newer technologies like the Quarter House and changing military priorities have also put the fighter jet's future in doubt. The military has plans to retire it by 2030 to make way for the NGAD program that will not only be laser-powered, but equipped with laser weapons. Similarly, the Eurofighter Typhoon, developed collaboratively by European countries, features a 100-kilowatt continuous laser akin to the F-22's upgraded system. This laser offers the unique ability to modulate its intensity, potentially affecting human senses. The Typhoon's development employed reverse engineering, significantly expediting the process. These advancements in laser-armed aircraft highlight the remarkable progress in aviation technology promising new possibilities for combat and defense strategies. Equipped with advanced radar and sensors, the Eurofighter Typhoon also enhances situational awareness for its pilots. It can effectively track both airborne threats and targets on the ground. In terms of weaponry, the jet can carry an array of missiles and bombs for various missions. Continual enhancements ensure the Eurofighter Typhoon remains up to date and ready to face any challenges. The UK has also contributed to this laser technology aircraft with the Tempest, a sixth-generation fighter with impressive capabilities, including radar jamming drones, high-speed maneuvering warheads, and, notably, a laser. The layered laser defense system by Lockheed Martin equips the Tempest for both offensive and defensive purposes, countering missile and drone threats. It was in early 2018 that the Royal Air Force set the wheels in motion for the Tempest fighter project, this aircraft is also envisioned to be a leap forward in defense technology. According to the Bay system, the jet will combine cutting-edge features, such as advanced stealth technology that renders it almost invisible to radar, and an extensive computer brain capable of utilizing swarm drone technology and deep learning. It's also supposed to have a next-generation integrated head-mounted display that will provide pilots with essential data, gesture control, and eye-tracking technology to ease the pilot's workload and even detect fatigue and mental illness. Another groundbreaking aspect is the integration of AI. Sensors in the pilot's helmet will monitor brain signals and health, collecting data during flights to build a database. This data will allow the AI to take control if the pilot becomes incapacitated. Moreover, it can assist the aircraft in evading threats like incoming missiles or enemy aircraft. Yet, bringing such innovations to life comes at a significant cost. Military projects, especially aviation-related ones, tend to spiral in terms of expenses. The F-35 program, a fifth-generation fighter, is a testament to this, costing the U.S. and its allies a staggering $412 billion. The Tempest price tag is expected to be no less than $400 billion.
However, the prototype is set to be ready by mid-2025, increasing the likelihood of pre-orders from European and Gulf states. Until then, the UK, Italy and Japan will bear the financial burden, relying on cost-sharing arrangements based on their national budgets. While the F-22 Raptor marked the beginning of fifth-generation stealth fighters, the Tempest aspires to be the first of the sixth-generation breed, and Hermaeus's quarterhouse might just ride that wave too. Now, the hypersonic quarterhouse may not have as much leverage as the other aircraft mentioned because it's being created by a young company, but it promises to change the game of modern flight. Even though it's the company's debut aircraft, Hermaeus was able to secure $16 million in funding to further develop it after successfully testing its prototype engine earlier this year. The company plans to utilize this funding to conduct ground tests on the full-scale engine that will power the plane. Hermaeus has really big plans for its Atlanta test facility. The funding injection will also help them expand this facility to accommodate in-house manufacturing and enhance their testing capabilities. They're gearing up for high-speed wind tunnel testing across a full range of flight speeds. Furthermore, their design work on the aircraft is ongoing, with more details expected to be revealed in the upcoming months. Hermias began its collaboration with the U.S. Air Force and the Presidential and Executive Airlift Directorate to explore hypersonic travel in July 2022, because the Air Force wants to integrate it into their existing aviation infrastructure. The engineers have gotten to work since then, designing, building and testing their Mach 5 engine prototype in just nine months. This proof-of-concept test campaign showcased their turbine-based combined cycle engine architecture. Their chief technical officer, Glenn Case, pointed out that their pre-cooler technology enabled them to operate a gas turbine engine at flight speed conditions. The company aimed for this speed because the majority of its core technologies are readily available offering robust flight controls. Additionally, the materials required for this endeavor are commercially accessible. They also have a vision to connect cities around the world at speeds that were previously unimaginable. Looking ahead, Hermias is preparing for its first flight test of the Quarter Horse aircraft next year. The Quarter Horse is also just the beginning as Hermias plans to develop a lineup of autonomous high-speed aircraft. Once the flight test campaign concludes, the aircraft will be the fastest reusable aircraft globally and the first to fly with a turbine-based combined cycle engine. Hypersonic technology has dual-use potential, serving both civilian and military purposes. This aligns with the company's partnership with NASA and underscores the commercial and defense applications for their innovative work. The company is leveraging autonomous and reusable systems, as well as focusing on requirements and robust hardware to accelerate learning while ensuring safety. They also acknowledge that when exploring unprecedented speeds like this, real-world testing is vital, and Hermaeus is planning a clever strategy for risk mitigation in the upcoming phases. They intend to conduct initial tests at subsonic speeds without utilizing the Chimera engine, which is the turbojet ramjet engine they had designed for it. While this might make the design somewhat suboptimal for both subsonic and high-speed performance, it's necessary for achieving the full range from ground level up to Mach 5. The second aircraft, expected in 2024, is projected to incorporate the Chimera engine. Jeffries, an analyst firm, remarked that Hermaeus is adopting an iterative approach, prioritizing the development of the best hardware possible for achieving high speeds. Now, the quarter horse certainly packs a lot of power into its body. Beyond being able to fly at five times the speed of sound, we already know it's also fueled by solar power, marking a significant stride towards sustainability. This matters as today's military jets release substantial carbon dioxide emissions, negatively impacting the environment. The Quarter Horse introduces an exciting shift towards eco-friendliness and responsible energy usage. Like that's not enough, it boasts an advanced laser beam as well, serving as an effective defense mechanism. We can conclude that this is not an ordinary aircraft as it's armed with cutting-edge technology that extends its capabilities and it's making new records for itself. But that's not all Hermaeus has up its sleeve. They're still gearing up for their next project, the Dark Horse UAV, set to make its appearance later in the decade.
This larger aircraft will be a technology powerhouse, laying the foundation for advancements. The plan is for Dark Horse to take defense capabilities to the next level, including intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, and strike operations for the Department of Defense and Intelligence clients. To make this happen, Hermias has joined forces with Pratt & Whitney to integrate the F-100 turbofan, fueling the larger Chimera 2 engine that will propel Dark Horse forward. Alongside their defense ambitions, they're also looking to the commercial market. Their vision includes introducing the Halcyon, a 20-passenger aircraft with a range of 4,000 nautical miles. This is aimed at airlines and business aviation customers, making a significant mark in the commercial aviation landscape. The next few years will be interesting in the aviation field and we look forward to all of it. Thank you for watching. Before you leave, click on the link on your screen for another of our videos. See you there.